In this video, I want to talk to you about classifying systems of linear equations. Well, a system of equations is a set of two or more equations that contain two or more variables. All right, that seems to be a pretty general definition. So in this video, we're going to be more specific though. We're going to focus on systems that are linear in nature and that have two equations with only two unknown values. So we're going to look at these systems graphically so we can get a good idea of the different types of linear systems that are possible. Think for a moment about all the possible relationships that could exist between two lines in the same plane. Well, there are in fact three different types of relationships that exist. The first is that the two lines intersect at a point. The second relationship that exists is that the lines are parallel and they will never intersect. And the third relationship that exists is that the lines happen to be exactly the same. We call them coincident. In other words, one line lies directly on top of the other. All right, now that we know what these three systems look like graphically, let's take a moment and talk about their characteristics and how we can classify each of these systems. So the first one that we talked about and saw is a system that with two lines and these two lines are going to intersect. Okay, well, how can you accommodate the intersection of two lines? Well, the lines, first of all, have to have different slopes. All right, well, if they have different slopes, of course, that's going to cause them to intersect at some point along the way. And it's only going to intersect at one point. Lines will never intersect more than once. And as far as the classification is concerned, this system is going to be consistent and independent. Consistent because the system has at least one solution, and specifically independent because it has exactly one solution. All right, well, what does the solution of this set mean? Well, the solution that we're looking for is that single point of intersection. It's the only point on the entire coordinate plane that satisfies both equations simultaneously. And we'll write that point as an ordered pair with its x-coordinate and y-coordinate. All right, so let's look at the second system. So in this one, we had lines that are parallel. And so, of course, parallel lines are lines in the same plane with the same slope but different y-intercepts. The same slope causes them to change at the same rate, but the different y-intercepts cause them to have different starting points, so they will be like railroad tracks. The two lines will never cross. They'll run right alongside each other. All right, as far as the classification of two parallel lines, this system is going to be inconsistent, and it's inconsistent because there is no solution. So when we answer this question, whether you're solving it graphically or solving it algebraically, the answer we'll write is no solution. Because remember, what we're looking for is an ordered pair that simultaneously satisfies both equations, but if they're parallel and run alongside each other, that'll never happen. Okay, so there are the first two systems. Let's go ahead and look at our third and final linear system. And this linear system has lines that are coincident. And coincident just means the two lines are exactly the same. They lie on top of one another. So in order to accommodate this, the lines have to have the same slope and the same y-intercept. So they are the same line. The way we classify this is consistent and dependent. Consistent because the system has at least one solution and dependent because in fact it has an infinite number of solutions. The reason it has an infinite number of solutions is because since the lines are exactly the same, any point that satisfies one equation will also satisfy the other equation. All right, so there is our classifications for our linear systems. We have three types, consistent and independent, inconsistent, and consistent and dependent. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming math videos.